Good evening. Welcome to This Week in Review. Tonight's stories include... You can see Londrigan's have begun their... Church parade to the Anglican Church. Uh, throughout the week we'll be running film. Next week is Fire Prevention Week. I spoke to Fire Chief Lynn Matthews to find out what the department has planned for this year. Chief Matthews, what activities do you have planned for Fire Prevention Week? Well, Dave, in the past three years, I believe, we've started off the week with a uh, church parade uh, to get the week started, and we've done the same thing again this year. We have a church parade to the Anglican Church. Uh, throughout the week, we'll be running films every night on the BBS Monday to Friday, starting at uh, 7 p.m. 7.30. 7.30 p.m. Okay, what kind of uh, programs do you have for this year? Uh, we have some of the ones that we've run before. We have some new ones. We have some, they're, um, some they're cartoon type, which they're good for the kids, but the same fire prevention message, fire safety message is uh, there for everyone. On Monday night, we have, uh, the first one is a Donald Duck one on home escape planning. Uh, this one is, and after that, we'll run another one on home escape planning. Uh, the theme of this year's Fire Prevention Week is uh, plan your escape, fires won't wait. So everybody should be uh, two ways out if a, a fire do occur. So th these two are on, uh, on home escape planning. On Tuesday night we have uh, What Do I Do When I See a Fire? Again, this is a cartoon, good for the kids, but the same message is there for everyone. After that one we'll run uh, the Fat Fire film, the one which was done by the Fire Commissioner's Office. On Wednesday night we have a Home Hazards, which is a Bugs Bunny cartoon. After that one we'll run an ounce of prevention. On Thursday night we have Fire Safety for the Elderly. And on Friday night we have Have a Wonderful Evening, which is a film for the babysitters. Uh, the Far Hall will be open, as in past years, every night for our intervention week from 7 till 9 p.m. We certainly invite everyone to drop by. This year we're in a new station. We'd like for anybody to drop in and see the station. As I said before, we have lots of fire prevention material on hand. It's free, so we'd be only too happy to see anybody drop in, have a chat, and have a look at the station. And that'll be every night, as I said, from Monday till Friday. On Wednesday, Wednesday afternoon, the Burnets are having a uh, bake sale at Far Hall at uh, 2 p.m. Uh, they certainly appreciate any donations of baked goods. If anybody would be so kind to make donations, because they're only a they're only a small group. And on Wednesday night at 8 o'clock, uh, the Burnets are having a card game for the Jolly Seniors. We'll be doing fire drills in both schools, elementary and, and the high school, as in past years. We'll also have uh, firefighters visit schools again this year, from uh, the visit, the visit uh, kindergartens to grade fours, I believe it is. We'll be doing inspections of any public buildings, or all public buildings in the town, and as well, we'll do any home inspections that we're asked to do. So. In all, we have a fairly busy week laid out for us. Okay, I understand that you might be having a special visitor at the fire hall in the near future. Can you tell us a bit about it? Uh, yes, Dave, on October the 28th, we're supposed to have Freddie the fire truck in town for a couple of days. Freddie the fire truck, for those who don't know what he is, is a $8,000 computerized miniature fire truck. Uh, how this thing got started was last year at the Newfoundland Labrador Association of Fire Chiefs Convention in St. John's. The VOCM Cares Foundation donated to the Conception Bay South a Freddy the Fire Truck. Over the year, he got so popular that uh, many fire stations wanted a Freddy, which was not practical due to the cost. So this year at the uh, convention, the OCM Cares Foundation presented 
two more fruities, this time to the Park Commissioner's office. Uh, one for Eastern Region in Saint, uh, from the St. John's office and one to the Western Region in the Cornerbrook office. So now the Fire Commissioner's Office, they control the two Freddies and see that they're distributed uh, to the fire departments in the region. What Freddie does, as I said, he's a fire truck. He uh, pumps water. He got a working siren, flashing lights. He plays music. He can do a little dance. He can blink his large eyes. And most importantly, he can talk. He's remote controlled. He can ask questions. He's very popular with the kids. He can ask questions and he can answer any questions that the kids have when they talk to him. So he's, as I say, is a great way to get the fire prevention message across to the kids and again the adults as well. What we're going to be doing is taking Freddie to the elementary school and visit kindergarten to grade fours. If he gets in on time, we'll be at the school on Monday the 28th. Uh, we'll probably have a um, open house for preschoolers at the far off some evening. And then some night we may have an open house, depending on what time we have and how long we have them for, we may have an open house uh, some night for any adults that might uh, like to drop in. So hopefully, if the date has been changed once, hopefully it won't be changed again, and we will have Freddie on, on the 28th. Okay, when is the new fire truck scheduled to arrive? The new truck is due in town next, or this Saturday, I guess, uh, around noon, he's supposed to be in. I talked to his company on uh, yesterday, and uh, he said he should be around noon on Saturday with the truck. Okay, so you'll be having trails on Saturday. Yeah, we got to do because because a different. Well, it's a, basically the same Toyota fire truck, but it's different. This one is a diesel. There's some things will be different, so they're going to come in, bring the truck in, and do training with us on, on Saturday. You had a fire call on Thursday. Where was the fire? Uh, that was at the fish plant at the uh, Sea Freeze. It was only is a minor thing. Uh, the workers working on the roof cut some plastic and insulation of fire, and they called us, but. By the time we got there, that they had the fire out, so there was, there was no damage or anything. There was nothing serious. Okay, was this the first fire call you had out of the new fire? Run? Yes, Dave. That was the first run out of the new station. So how did it go? Well, it went well. Luckily, that I mean, like I said, it was not a serious fire. So, okay. well, thanks for talking to us. You're quite welcome, Dave. Lundergans have finally begun laying asphalt on the section of road that they have been preparing to pave for the last month. Western's crews are still working flat out on the final section of road that is to be upgraded.
Regarding the senior center, most people were to the point where seeing is believing. Well, this week it was no trouble to see them as work began on the project on Tuesday after more than a year of contract disputes. We took our camera to the site to check on the progress being made by the crew who are constructing the new Smalls Island Bridge. On Friday night, five members of the Pathfinders received the highest achievement in the guide movement, the Canada Corps.
that's it for tonight's program. We hope you enjoyed it. On behalf of BBS and the BBS volunteers, I'm Dave Cooper. Have a great week. Good night.